Hi, Dr. Pinzone here from Hyperthermia Cancer Institute to share a little bit of thoughts about hyperthermia and the metabolic dysregulation that happens in cancer. So, metabolism broadly defined is any chemical process within a cell. If we divide it into two buckets, there are the metabolic processes that are responsible for supporting a single cell's life. And then there are the metabolic processes that are responsible for cell division and proliferation. Now, in cancer, both of those metabolic processes are dysregulated. And we can use hyperthermia, gentle heating of the tumor, to affect a number of those metabolic dysregulations. First, because there is a low amount of oxygen because the blood vessels are collapsed in the center of most solid tumors. When we heat the tumor, we get lots of blood flow. That fundamentally changes the metabolism in a number of ways. Physically, it brings more chemotherapy in. It brings more oxygen in, which lets radiation work better. But importantly, it acts like a fever, and a fever changes the metabolism of cells, and it causes heat shock proteins to be secreted, which stimulates the immune system to then react against all of the mutated proteins that are inside those cancer cells being released by the heat, but mostly by the chemotherapy or radiation therapy. So there you have it. We have metabolic dysregulation. We use heat to uh, use that dysregulation and use it against the cancer cell and thereby help chemotherapy work better, help radiation work better, and help the immune system work better.